In this video, we are going to go over solving Gwadatsky equations using the formula method. So the first thing that you need to know is that when you have an equation which is uh, in this form, which is a quadratic function, so for you to find the possible solutions or values of x that can make this equation to be equal to zero, the formula is supposed to be x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, so a is a coefficient of x squared, b is a coefficient of x, and c is a constant. So now you know what to plug in in the formula. Okay. So, the values of x are also known as what? The roots of the equation. Those are possible points where you expect the graph to cut the, the x-axis. So now, there may be some quadratic functions that don't cut the x-axis. So such ones, it's not possible to solve them using the formula. Okay. So now, let's have some practice problems. Let's say we have uh, x squared minus 10x plus 24 being equal to 0. Then you are asked to solve using the formula. How do you go about it? So remember our formula is saying x is equal to negative of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I'll begin substituting now. So for the first part, the negative of b, so it's negative. Then our b in that case is negative 10 plus or minus the square root. What is our b? Our b is minus 10 again. So it's negative 10 squared minus 4. Our a is what? Our a is 1. And our c is 24. Okay. All this is supposed to be divided by what? 2a. So what is our 2 in this case? Or sorry, what is our a in this case? So we have 2. Our a is 1. So it's still, still remaining a 1 there. From there now, we can just begin simplifying what we have. So if you look at the left-hand side, what basically do we have? So negative 10 is going to become 10 because negative by negative is positive. Plus or minus. Negative 10 squared is 100. So I have 100. 4 by 24. 24 by 4. That is a 6, 1, 4. 8, 9, minus 96, okay, divided by 2. So the plus or minus makes it possible for us to find two different values in some cases where the roots are distinct. So if you want to understand what that means, check out our video on the nature of roots. Okay, so in this case we have 10 plus or minus. The difference between 100 and 96 is a 4. So we have the square root of 4 divided by 2. Now we know that the square root of 4 is 2, so over 2. So at that point now, let's try to find the two possible solutions that we can have. So the first one, I'll get the positive sign. I'll say 10 plus 2. Then the other one, I'll say 10 minus 2. So divided by 2, divided by 2. The 2 is coming from down there. Okay. So we have uh, the first part, we have 10 plus 2, which is the 12, over 2. The other side is 8 over 2. So this is 6, that is a 4. So these are the possible values of what? Of x, using the quadratic formula. Okay, let's look at another practice question. Let's say we have um, 3x squared plus 5x minus 12 being equal to 0. So the formula is x is equal to the negative of b plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac divided by what? 2a. So what is important is to identify what is your a. 
our a in this case is a coefficient of x squared which is a 3 our b is the coefficient of x which is a 5 and our c is a constant minus 2 okay so it's a requirement there are some cases where this question may be given to be 3x squared plus 5x being equal to 12 so it's a requirement that you're supposed to take this one the other side and you consider that sign when considering it to be your c not just considering it to be positive 12 no <coughs> so make sure that whenever you're dealing with that all the terms should be on one side so we have the negative of b so our b is positive so it would be negative 5 plus or minus what is our b squared? Our b is 5, so it's 5 squared minus 4. Our a is 3, and our c is minus 12, divided by 2a. Our a is 3. Okay. So what we have is negative 5 plus or minus. So 5 squared is 25. 4 by 3 is 12. 12 by 12 is going to be 44. So it's, as, it's actually negative 12 by negative 12, giving us a positive 144. So plus 144, the square root of that, divided by 6. So negative 5 plus or minus 25 plus 144 is what? So that is a 9, 6, 169. So the square root of 169 is 13 over 6. So what are the two possible solutions that we should expect to have in such a case? So we have the first one to be negative 5 plus 13 over 6. The other possible value or solution to be negative 5 minus 13 over 6. So I'll start with the first part now. Well. Negative 5 plus 13 is 8 over 6. So 8 over 6 is the same as what? 4 over 3. 5 minus 13, 5 plus 13 is, is what? So 5 plus 13 is 18. So it's negative 18 over 6. And our answer is negative 3. So these are the two possible solutions for that question. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.